Here's a challenge for you, the Dixie Cup Challenge. These uh, three ounce Dixie Cups are one and a half inches going across here and two inches at the bottom. So essentially, what you could call this target is a one and three quarter inch target. And I've got ten of them here and what I do is I just blast the front so I feel no need to paint all of it. So I can see if I'm using my front sights, I can see what I'm hitting. And all I've done is went to the store and got these. And according to this, we have 200 of these. And I'm sure they're pretty cheap at Walmart. And then for paint, I'm using the upside down marking paint. This is really good because um, sometimes when you hold spray, spray cans certain ways, they don't really spray that well. Whereas this one, this one allows you to pretty much go out a downward painting. You know, you can spray it this way. And it comes out, when you put your finger on here, it comes out straight this way. So you can just blast them real quick. Whereas uh, the other spray cans are kind of sloppy. But, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be this kind, but... So we got 10 Dixie Cups. It's a perfect challenge for people. I'll tell you why. Number one is the average person, people with limited eyesight like me, can see a one inch target at 25 yards. So what that means is, is, is if I could see a one inch target at 25 yards, that means that I can use front sights for my air rifles, uh, given that they group under one and three quarter inches and I do have a lot of air guns that group under that now if you're using front sights for the DZ 840 that groups with some of the best pellets at about three inches at uh, 25 yards so if you divide that into two it's one and a half inch groups at 12.5 yards so this would be a good challenge for your kids or even us adults for front sights at uh, 12.5 yards or you could stretch it out a little bit to 15 if you feel like it um, a lot of uh, air guns like the Daisy for instance is uh, 8080 has been known to group with really good pellets at one to one and a half inch groups I know that sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll group better but the kind of groups I'm talking about are 10 uh, shot groups so you take 10 shots and you measure the distance uh, from center to center. So you got the eight, the Daisy 840, you've got the Daisy 880, and uh, what I'm going to be doing soon is taking out my Gamel uh, Whisper, or no, no, Gamel Silent Cat. I got a Gamel Silent Cat, and uh, I've got it sighted in with my regular sights at 25 yards for an 8.8 .8 grain H&N field target trophy pellet. It's the copper plated type. I've got that thing sighted in real sweet at 25 yards and I was out the other night I was plinking these little cups here and I hit seven out of seven that I stood up so that might be a Dixie cup challenge for me. Um, you know having fun with your front sights now if you want to use a scope that's fine too. Um, it is nice to get out further with the scope like 35-40 yards but uh, sometimes it's fun just to blast these things at 25 yards also. Uh, so the Gamma Whisper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few practice shots one of these days here and then I'm going to do the 10 cup Dixie challenge I'll call it. So if you guys want to do this um, there's only one rule, just uh, try and hit all ten of them at any distance you can and tell me the rifle, tell me the pellet, and tell me the velocity if you can or, you know, kind of some details of how you're doing it. Uh, if you're not doing it bench rest, you know, tell us that you're standing up, sitting down, laying, whatever position, you know, ballerina, <laughs> you know, any position you can think of where you shoot, where you shoot good. Um, or just have fun like bench press or bench rest and stuff like that. I like to bench rest, do shots out in the yard here. And then when I go out of town, sometimes I like to stand up and do stand up shots. 
But uh, this is an idea for you guys because these are neat little Dixie cups here, these targets. So, so we'll call it the ten, the uh, the Dixie Cup Challenge. Ten Dixie cups with any rifle. Tell us what scope you're using, or or if you're just using regular sights. Uh, shoot ten of these things at any distance you want. One more thing I forgot to tell you. Fill them up with water. That's how I do them. And then I put them on top of like a garden brick or something. So that way if the pellet skips in the grass or something, it'll hit the brick. And these are up a little higher so you can tell for sure if it was a skip or if it was a dead center or whatever. But uh, yeah, anyway, here they are. They dry pretty quick. Some of this paint really dries fast. So here's a set right here for me to take out and shoot.